Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh <coughs> Bismillah walhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafi rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi al-faizina bi rizadullah Amma ba'd Fa'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qala Allah ta'ala Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu udkhulu fi silmi kafa Wa la tattabi'u khutwati shaytan إنه لكم عدو مبين وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ارحموا من في الأرض يرحمكم من في السماء أمنت بالله صدق الله مولانا العظيم زرع اسقوم کو بیدار تو ہو لینے دو زرع اسقوم کو بیدار تو ہو لینے دو ہر قوم پکارے گی ہمارے ہیں حسین آج مجھے آپ کے سامنے کچھ لبکشائی کا موقع ملا ہے میں مختصر سے وقت میں کچھ پوائنٹس آپ کے سامنے جو ہے گوشت گزار کرنے کی سعادت حاصل کروں گا یاد رکھیے کہ فکر و نظر قلم و قدم علوم و فنون صلاحیت و قدرت کا اگر صحیح استعمال ہوگا تو نظام مصطفیٰ یقیناً اور بالیقیناً بالیقینی طور پر خود بخود اس کا حسن دنیا کے سامنے بے نقاب ہوتا ہوا نظر آئے گا یہ جو موضوع ہے دراصل سمندر کے دو ساحل کو ایک جگہ جمع کرنے والا موضوع ہے اور یہ جبکہ یہ ناممکن ہے تو اسی طریقے سے جب یہ ناممکن ہے کہ دہشتگردی اور اسلام یا اسلام اور دہشتگردی یہ دونوں سمندر کے الگ الگ کنارے ہیں اور ان دونوں کو ایک جگہ جمع نہیں کیا جا سکتا درود پاک پڑھے اللہ صلی علیہ سیدنا و مولانا محمد و بارک وسلم صلاۃ و سلام علی کے رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ کا وسلم چیئرمین آف دس فنکشن چیف گسٹس ڈگنیٹریز and dear audience i like i take this opportunity to speak on behalf of every true muslim tonight i will try my best to prove that islam has never allowed killing of human beings as it is being presumed the terrorist organization who claims to be representing the muslims all over the world do you do do know do know that Muslims do not care much more about them. It was Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden that grabbed the attention of whole world. But Muslims never accepted them as their representatives. Now, when Osama is dead and Al-Qaeda has lost the power, it is a chance for Daesh, so-called the Islamic State for Iraq and Syria or we can say in short form ISIS or ISIL has nothing to do with Islam. Muslims all over the world have long rejected the policies of Daesh. They have clearly spoken against its brutalities against Muslims and non-Muslims. Dear audience, I will try to present you some basic factors about Islam and Quran and Prophet ﷺ Sunnah that it may become clear what Islam and Quran think of the humanity. First of all, we must know that the word Islam has the meaning, same meaning in Islam, uh, in Arabic, peace. So Islam is religion that come down to offer humanity a life filled with the peace and well-being in which Allah's internal mercy and compassion is manifested in the world. Allah invites to all people to accept the moral teachings of Quran and all as a model whereby mercy, compassion, tolerance and peace may be experienced in the world. Allah Ta'ala says in Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, udkhulu fi silmi kaffa, wa la tattabi'u khutwati shaitan, you who believe in terror, absolutely into peace don't follow the footstep of satan it is the outright enemy to you seek narae takbir narae risalat narae takbir narae risalat paigham e mohabbat conference seek quran says وابتغ فيما اتاك الله الدار الاخره ولا تنس نصيبك من الدنيا واحسن كما احسن الله اليك وابتغ ولا تبغ الفساد في الارض ان الله لا يحب المفسدين seek the abode of the hereafter with what Allah has given you without forgetting your portion of the world and 
do good as Allah has been good to you and do not ask, uh, do not seek to cause mischief on the earth. Allah does not love mischief maker. Islam is a religion which fosters freedom of life, ideas and thoughts. It has forbidden tension and conflict among people, calumny, suspicion and even having negative thoughts uh, uh, about uh, another individual. Islam has not only forbidden terror and violence, but also even the slight opposition of any ideas and any other human beings. You know, according to the Quran, one of the greatest sin is to kill a human being who he has committed no fault. As Quran says, من قتل نفسا بغير نفس أو فساد في الأرض فكأنما قتل الناس جميعا ومن أحيا نفسا فكأنما أحيا الناس جميعا ولقد, ولقد جاءتهم رسلنا بالبينات ثم إن كثير منهم بعد ذلك في الأرض لمسرفون if someone kills another person unless it is in retaliation for someone else or for causing corruption in the earth it is as if he had murdered all mankind and if one gives life to another person it is as if he had given life to all mankind our messenger came to them with clear sign but even after that many of them committed or tags in the earth in brief a Muslim educated in final moral teaching of Quran approaches everyone with the love that Islam expects. He shows respect for every idea. He values arts and aesthetics. He is consularity <coughs> in the face of every event, diminishing tension and restoring amity in societies composed for individuals such as this. There will be a higher civilization, a higher social morality, more joy, happiness, justice, security, abundance and blessing than in the most modern nation of the world today. When we look at Islamic history, we can see clearly how Muslims established this important precept of moral teaching of Quran and practical seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in their social life at every point in their advance Muslims destroyed unlawful practice and created a free tolerance environment in this area of religion language and culture they made it possible for people totally opposite to each other to live under the same roof uh, in freedom and peace thereby giving to those subject to them advantages of, uh, advantage of knowledge, wealth and position. In brief, all this shows that the moral teachings offered to humanity by Islam is one that will bring peace, happiness and justice to the world. The barbarism and terrorism both are equal so, and barbarism and terrorism is it is happening nowadays in the world today under the name of Islamic terrorism is completely removed removed from the moral teachings of Quran and Sunnah and we condemned it and we boycotted them it is work of ignorant people boycotted people Criminal people who have nothing to do with religion, the solution which will apply it against these individuals and groups who are trying to commit their deeds of savagery under the guise of Islam will be instruction of people in the true moral teaching of Islam. In other words, the religion of Islam and the moral teaching of Quran are not supporters of terrorism and the terrorists, but the remedy which the world can the world can be saved from the savage of terrorism so may, may Allah bless us to understand to make understand of Islam and good teachings of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and may Allah bless us to convey the right message of Islam I would like to conclude my speech with the meaningful ashar ab jiske ji me aaye wahi paaye roshni humne to dil jala ke sare raah kar diya wa akhiru daawana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin assalamu alaikum